We've got team coverage on the move to phase three. It's now easier to get to the gym. Under the new guidelines, gyms can operate at 50% capacity, yet many of the fitness centers we spoke with are choosing to proceed with caution. Katarina Krasafis explains. While the start of phase three is an exciting time for local fitness centers, I'm told that many of them are taking things slow just to keep everybody safe. It's been a tough year for the fitness industry. Now, with the start of phase three, the worst is behind us. Many say hope is just around the corner. It feels like we're on the other side of things. Like we've, we've kind of crested, it's the worst that it's been, and there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and we're actually moving towards it. It's a light Janessa Walsh, owner of Farm Girl Fit, has been searching for ever since the pandemic forced her to shut her doors not once, but twice. After a little bit of like feeling sorry for ourselves and, and just kind of frustrated at the situation, we moved all of our operations online. Once phase two began, they allowed up to 12 people per class. Under the phase three guidelines, they can now have up to 30. But if you take a look around this space, that would be pretty tight and it would require sharing of a lot of equipment. That's why for now, Walsh is playing it safe, allowing just 15 people per class. But it's also looking at what our clients' needs are, what their expectations are, their level of comfort. Instead, they'll be opening up their child care at a limited capacity so that moms can get back into their fitness routine. There are also big changes happening at the Y. We are able to have members come in when they want to come in rather than to set a time and have to come in. Starting today, you'll no longer need an appointment to work out in the wellness center. According to the guidelines, they'd be able to allow 75 people in at a time. However, they've decided to keep it at 45 to 50 for now. It comes down to if you're spacing people out to make sure that they're, you know, within the guidelines that have been set forth by the state. Because although things may be looking up, both say now isn't the time to let our guard down. We're very much, you know, talking to our members and um, health, local health officials to see what, what's reasonable, what's prudent, what can we continue to do to move forward. In Spokane, Katarina Krasafis, 4 News Now.